Hi, I'm Black Bright, and I decided to do this video for the Windrush generation who have lost evidence um, of their stay and who don't have a passport and who may be at home feeling vulnerable and wondering what to do. Um, so, first of all, if you don't have a passport or not even your national passport, you know, if you're from Jamaica, you, you don't know where your Jamaican passport is and you don't have a British passport because you never applied. Don't worry too much. Um, they have something called a no limit, no time limit application, which applies to all of those people who were in the who are the Windrush generation. Who are the Windrush generation? Those who were settled or who came to the UK before the 1st of January. 1973 there are other criterias but that's the main one so that it so like i said there is a no time limit application which you can get through the www.gov.uk website g for golf o for oscar v for victor dot uk website so that's the first thing um for those of you who don't want a British passport or but want to prove that you're settled in the UK, they have a certificate of entitlement to right of abode. That's like a little slip that they put in your passport just to prove that you've been here and you're settled in the UK. So you don't have to be a British citizen. You don't have to have a British passport. Um, for those who don't who and for those who've lost their um their passport or any evidence that shows that they have indefinite leave to remain or indefinite leave to to enter they also can apply for a certificate of entitlement now supposing you don't want um certainly you don't want a british passport and you don't want um the certificate of entitlement they do have something called what is it a nationality status document the only thing with that is it proves that it proves your nationality but it doesn't give you the right to work or the leave to enter and all of those kind of things that you need to prove that you're a citizen you'll just be like a foreign national or an illegal immigrant really because you won't have no right to work you won't have no access to benefits you won't have no access to the health services and things like that no right to rent so that national status document is just to dictate your nationality so um, I think I've covered most of it oh yeah criminals um, or I shouldn't say criminals, but those who've been committed of a criminal offence, um, they can, and they're of the Windrush generation, they can still get, um, in, they can get indefinite leave to remain, but they cannot get British citizenship. Now I'm just going to make sure that um, I've covered everything by looking at my little thing. Just to clarify, Windrush generations are those Commonwealth citizens who were either settled in the UK before January 1973 or who have a right of abode by virtue of living in the country um, continuously prior to the 1st of January with no gaps longer than two years. Uh, you have a criminal record, you can get leave to remain, and but you cannot apply for British citizenship. I'm just recapping here. Um, you don't oh you don't need to do the knowledge of um, English knowledge of English or life in the UK test from qualifying countries like Jamaica Trinidad Barbados Canada there's certain countries that are, um, that you don't have to do that test for or if you're over 65 years old you don't have to do that knowledge of English test you do not have to attend attend this um, British citizenship ceremony if you don't want to. But if you do, it's free. Um, if you do not want a passport, you can apply for the certificate of entitlement to right to abode. That is for free. Um, that's a slip that I was saying that they put in your passport to prove um, to prove that you have indefinite right to remain. And it's proof of your settled status in the UK. Um, if you want to apply for British passport, Windrush applicants can do so for do so for free. I think you just pay for the passport, but you don't pay for the whole process and the application. Um, 
Oh, I've lost a bit here. Um, if you've lost your foreign passport, you can be issued with a nationality status. That's the one that I said. You, you, it tells you about your nationality, but it won't give you access to benefits or services or health services or jobs, stuff like that, bank accounts. Um, and yeah, and that's important because, you know, with the hostile environment policy, you know, they are, they have the banks on board, they have the Department of Works and Pensions on board, hospitals on board, employers on board, a host of people, driving license, everybody's on board. And, you know, to work out who's legal and who's not legal. So the national status document is not really going to help you. It's just going to dictate your nationality. And I'm not quite sure if that's of any value. Um, if you don't qualify for British citizenship because of a criminal background or you don't want to apply for British citizenship, but you want to prove your settled status, um, right to abode in the UK, that's permanent residence, stuff like that. The task force, the, the Windrush task force, just go on that gov website, gov.uk website, can help you get confirmation of settled status for free. Um, and the no time limit applications, like I said, that's that's just to prove, what is it now? Oh, oh yeah, if you've lost your passport and you want to prove you indefinitely to remain, that's when you need a no limit time, no time limit application. Um, oh, I've written it down actually. A no time limit application is an administrative process by which a person with indefinite leave to enter or indefinite leave to remain can apply for confirmation of this status. And that's the biometric resident permit. That's got your fingerprints, it's got your photograph, and it's got everything about you on that. Um, a person who has indefinite leave to enter or indefinite leave to remain is free of immigration time limit restrictions and is considered in the U considered settled in the UK. So like I said in another video, that's going to be proof that um, that's going to be like your ID card. If you want to go for a job, that's what you're going to be showing them. Um, yeah, a person may apply for a no, a no time limit where their passport containing the I indefinite leave to remain or indefinite leave to enter or no time limit endorsement has been lost, stolen or has expired. Um, they have settled status in the UK, but they do not have any documentary evidence confirming this. For example, they were deemed settled in the UK on January, 1st of January 1973. And they have legitimately changed their identity since being granted indefinite leave to remain and want to confirm this on the biometric residence permit. Uh, it's not mandatory for a person to apply for a no limit, no time limit. Um, biometric resident permit but the, there are benefits to having one this is what this is saying not what I'm saying um, it has enhanced security features so it can't be stolen but the thing is if you lose it it's very very difficult to get it back if you lose your biometric um, permit and or it gets broken or something you have to go through the whole process again it's arduous so it's a valuable valuable permit you have to keep it safe at all times um and yeah like i said it's evidence and the thing is that does you know when i'm saying that you know if you don't have evidence or no passport or nothing that doesn't mean anyone can jump on the bandwagon and say oh look i came to the country i've lost my passport i don't have no evidence um therefore can i get no time limit um endorsement or can i get um what was the other thing I said? The certificate of entitlement. No, you still have to have, there, there's still ways they're going to test you to prove that you were in the country during the period you said you were. So it's not, it's not a place for people to jump on the bandwagon, try to get in when they weren't here. It's a bit like those people in Grenfell Tower. How tragic was that? They weren't even in the building and yet they was trying to get their British citizenship through that it doesn't work they'll get found out so it's not for the swindlers and all the people who think they're slick it's for genuine windrush applicants and i'm catering to those because they are the most vulnerable you know those that they those, these sorry these are the ones who 
do have difficulty understanding complex documents and you, all of these, all the changes in the amendments, the wind rust um, generation are the most vulnerable. And that is why I'm giving out this information so that they know where to go. Like I said, they've got the Windrush Task Force and they have, I mean, all you've got to do is if you don't know how to write it in your phone, you know, they have the speaker things now where you can just tell it what you want. And it's fantastic, really. Um, yeah, so you can just tell it what you want and it speaks back to you. So, yeah, I hope you found this useful. And that's all for now. Bye bye.